Hello, everyone. I'm John Furrier with Silicon Angle Media. Well, this is the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. We are on the ground, which is no Cube desk here, but we are on the ground because there's a lot of action happening here in San Jose at the Scale Conference, put on by Facebook. But really, it's an industry event where people people are here discussing the future trends to make things as real time as possible. I'm here with George Gilbert, Chief Analyst at Wikibon.com, Analyst in Big Data and the Scale and Cloud. Uh, George, what what is this event? Tell tell the folks out there what is going on here. What is Scale? Scale as a conference is what's going to be mainstream in five to ten years. This is the elite of the elite programmers getting together to solve the problems that no one else is experiencing right now. This is talking about how Google, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn solve their problems. And that's going to filter down to the mainstream over five to ten years just the way Hadoop did, um, Hadoop and MapReduce over the last ten years. So obviously web scale, hyperscalers, whatever the word you want to call it, Facebook, Google, these are companies born in the cloud that are pushing the envelopes at scale because they have to, and they're building their own stuff, and open source is a key part of that ethos. What is the big deal behind this event, and what are some of the topics that are being discussed here? Well, there's a couple things that, uh, that, are, that, that stand out. On the big data side, um, that also intersects with uh, actually machine learning and, and networks. Um, Facebook talked about how we're moving from uh, um, experience sharing of photos to videos. But most of the world is unlike us, they're still on 2G networks. So they have to manage a process where it doesn't take 82 hours to upload your video and another you know two hours to download it. So they have, uh, as an example of using smarts to, to deal with lesser quality infrastructure, they've taken their machine learning capabilities and made it much smarter in terms of uh, encoding the video to get it on a low quality network upstream and downstream. And that's an example of, you know, uh, sort of tactics that mainstream enterprises can't do yet. My favorite part of the conference was the keynote by Jay Parekh, who runs all the infrastructure. He said video is the killer app, in so many words. They do four billion video streams um, a month, I think it was a, a number. A, a day A now. day, a day, I'm sorry, a, a from, day. From one billion a year ago. So video is the killer app. Photos was the engagement app, now it's video. Obviously the queue, we love video. Video's where it's at. Um, in this video, share with the folks the core under the hood technologies that deep people talk about. Streaming, what's the machine learning? What are some of the key technologies and innovations that's powering this next generation software development environment? Okay, so when we're in San Francisco on our iPhone 6s, um, you know, and our LTE networks, we can take a video and upload it pretty quickly. But there are hundreds of millions of users in Indonesia and India and China um, who don't have these networks. And so in the example I was giving you, Facebook takes multiple technologies to bear um, which is with machine learning, they can actually take apart the scene in a video and figure out balancing quality and bandwidth. And so they can, and then they can parallelize it and dramatically reduce the time. So some poor guy in India who took a video doesn't get a message on his phone that says, it'll take 82 hours to upload, which is an example he used. It's funny, 10 years ago, we just had the 9-11 celebration and memorial, never forget, around the 9-11, and the commentary was, if there was iPhones back then, we'd see much more footage. Now, go back 10 years forward, there's so much video, it's so pervasive, that now the algorithms have to be smarter. Machine learning, facial recognition, all this stuff's happening at wire speed in real time. So that's great, we, just, we can kind of talk about the speeds and feeds, but let's go to the next level. Where's the next outcome? Is it Oculus Rift? Is it virtual reality, what are some of the things that people are talking about that takes us to the future? Well, even before we go that, that there's some more things we can do with video, such as simultaneous translation or, or offline translation. So if it's recorded in one language, it can be translated into another language so that you can share it, you know, uh, sort of across geographies. Um, then there's, uh, um, we can do the, uh, 3D, they're, they're emerging standards, so you just take a, a video and the, the sensors in your camera can construct a 3D photo, and then with the proper headgear, 
you can interact even without the headgear. So that's that's the VR and augmented reality because you can superimpose that on, on physical reality. For the folks watching can't uh, see here what's going on, aren't at the event, you got to know how awesome this is. Over there, they have a little office hours. You're going to hear Twitter, Airbnb, Facebook, all the top people in the industry. These are like the engineers. This isn't like marketing people. It's real people. We just had massive sessions talking about scale. These are large scale problems. Now you, you add cloud mobile and now data as a future internet of things. I got my iWatch right here. Data is powering all this in a fabric called the cloud. Scale is the number one thing on everyone's mind today. Break that down, the last minute, two minutes, what is the big threshold issues for scale? Is it servers, is it compute, is it data? What's the nexus? That's a great question. Because the great advances in computers are always when we have a relative change in the price performance between compute, network, storage, memory, and right now, everyone's talking about the, the death of Moore's law. So transistor density isn't growing tremendously on the client. All the innovation's going on in the cloud because when you think about price performance, you have 3D there. It's not just a chip, they're in a rack. And so we have all this horsepower. It's actually accelerating in the cloud. So that's where you see things like Facebook doing all this fancy processing to create augmented reality um, and 3D videos. I think it's a time in history we're going to look back at this and say, okay, we're living in a time with Uber, Airbnb, Twitter, Facebook. I mean, actually Facebook's doing really well. They had their first billion users in one day on the platform. Twitter's getting struggling in the press. I love Twitter. I think Twitter is a home run and it'll never go away. But you got, you got next Netflix. All these companies, Box, this is the new era. This is a new generation of developers. The, the way to think about it is your, your IT um, is becoming your operations. It used, you used to think of it as your factory, as your supply chain. This is the operation. And the way you go to the, to the customer is either through the browser or mobile device or an API that someone else plugs into. This is theCUBE, we're on the ground. We'll go where the stories are, and the story today is the scale conference here in San Jose. It's where all the action is, what's going on under the hood. These are the real engineers that are creating the next generation large scale networks, the large scale software environments, large scale security solutions for the best end user experiences. And of course, we're trying to bring all that action here. Again, we go where the stories are. This is theCUBE, we'll be back. Thanks for watching on the ground here at the Scale Conference 2015. We are in San Jose. We'll be right back.